Could a popular brand of dog food be killing family pets? A local woman says Biniful poisoned and killed her puppy last week. A class action lawsuit has been filed against Purina on behalf of thousands nationwide. News 13's Ashley Searles joins us live. And Ashley, a lot of people concerned about this. That's right, and with good reason. We talked to a local vet today, and he said that if you feed your dog Beneful, it wouldn't hurt to switch foods. Toby was a healthy, spunky, lovable 11-month-old puppy when he out of nowhere became sick, had diarrhea, was vomiting, and his family took him to the vet. There, he was diagnosed with acute kidney failure and died within days. It was strange and sudden and left his heartbroken owners and the vet at a total loss. When we have cases that don't make sense, when, when you have a young dog that suddenly develops kidney failure, that should raise some, some questions. You know, you know, why, why did that happen? Now, after news broke this week of a lawsuit against Purina's Beneful dog food brand alleging that it poisons family pets, Toby's family believes they have their answer. They're saying propylene glycol in the mycotoxins and uh, in, in high enough concentrations, propylene glycol can be a problem. But the suit says that those two ingredients are deadly. Mycotoxins are poisons produced from a wheat fungus. And then there's propylene glycol, which is used in pet-friendly antifreezes and approved by the FDA for use in dog, not cat foods. But now that's only in certain concentrations, says Dr. Wetzel. I personally feel like I see a fair number of cases of, of gastroenteritis in dogs that are fed beneficial, but I have to remind myself how, how common of a dog food it is. Over years, millions of bags of Beneful have been sold, and the suit is filed on behalf of about 3,000 who say their pets died under circumstances similar to Toby's after eating it. It would definitely worry me if I used that product. The food hasn't been recalled, and there is still no promise from Purina to test it. But for some pet owners, it's already a wake-up call. It makes me think maybe I should look at, you know, look at a label and just compare it to what I do use. Now, dog owners that have joined this class action lawsuit say that their dogs came down with symptoms including hair loss, dehydration, vomiting, and diarrhea like Toby. Now, for Purina's part, they have an issue to recall. They say this lawsuit is baseless. Reporting live tonight in Asheville, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.